Good evening. Thanks for being here. We begin this hour with a surprising and sudden end to one of the most dramatic political stories to rock the Campbell government that has dragged on in the courts for years. The BC Rail corruption trial came to an end today. It was in December of 2003 that the police raided the BC legislature, bringing explosive allegations of bribery and breach of trust into the highest corridors of power in BC. But tonight it is over because two of the three men charged have entered guilty pleas. That, however, does not mean the calls for a public inquiry are going to go away. Our legislature reporter, Shachi Curl, has our top story. I got to move on. What are your plans now? Go home, catch a ferry, play with my kids today. With that ends one of the most mysterious chapters in BC politics. Dave Bassey and Bobby Virk shocked everyone this morning with surprise guilty pleas in the BC Rail trial nearly eight years after the equally shocking police raid on the legislature that led to charges against them. On December 28, 2003, police moved in on the offices of two ministers, seizing box after box of documents. A day later, they said this. Those individuals are alleged to have been involved in an organized crime network that exchanged BC marijuana in the United States for cocaine. But the charges Bassey and Virk pleaded guilty to had nothing to do with organized crime or drugs. In 2003, Bassey was a ministerial assistant to then Finance Minister Gary Collins. Bob Virk was working for former Transport Minister Judith Reed. Instead, they have admitted they took cash, meals, and tickets to a Denver Broncos game in exchange for leaking information about the controversial billion-dollar sale of BC Rail. BC Rail was a public asset when the Campbell government promised it wouldn't sell. Bassey and Virk have always insisted they were innocent, following political orders surrounding the troubled sale from Premier Gordon Campbell. Today, they said this about their change of plea. Seven years is, is tough. Two kids, I have the two children born into this. As surprising and unexpected, frankly, anticlimactic as today's news is, it is also the best possible news for the Campbell government, which for seven and a half years has been under pressure to explain why the documents came out of these buildings and what was in them. I am not going to respond to issues that arise out of this court case until it's complete. How many times did we hear that? With the case before the courts, the government wasn't talking about the political motivations for selling BC Rail. With the guilty pleas, the evidence is sealed. It will not be made public. The NDP is demanding a public inquiry. A public inquiry has to occur. The public deserves answers, and it's not going to happen with the BC Liberals unless they're forced to go in front of an independent public inquiry. Two individuals uh, conducted themselves inappropriately, so uh, a, a public inquiry into uh, this matter to spend millions of more dollars uh, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Now, Gary Collins was scheduled to testify next week in the trial which has the NDP also raising curious questions about timing. I think the timing stinks, and I think the public knows that. The public knows the timing stinks. The first minister who's going to appear on the stand and a chance for questions to be asked, and all of a sudden, it's all done and over. The guilty pleas mean charges against a third man, Anil Bassey, have been dropped. Virk and Dave Bassey have been sentenced to house arrest, though the conditions are not strict. Dave Bassey must also pay a $75,000 fine, which includes repaying money for the tickets and the meals. The men say they are relieved it's over. You know, I'm going to go home today and play with my kids. But, but you, did, you did plead guilty. What would you say to the public? Again, I, I'm, I'm, it's over. I'm moving on. And that's all I have to say. But the questions for the government are far from done. In Victoria, Shachi Curl, A News.